Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and today I wanted to show you the latest build I've been playing for the past few days, as well as talk about Wanding Single Target and what I think you should be doing with it, since they nerfed the Frost Wall Kinetic Blast interaction with the Atlas of Worlds expansion, where Frost Wall no longer interacted with player projectiles such as Kinetic Blast and Lightning Arrow, essentially killing the single target of um, pretty much both of those builds, which Kinetic Blast completely relied upon, whereas Lightning Arrow was just kind of overpowered and does have other options anyway. So I'll show you a bit about what my build is, uh, how I've set it up, and what I think you should be doing to get Wanding Single Target these days. Because it's not great, and some a lot of things do have to come together, let's just say, to um, make it decent. But it does still exist, and you can still play Wanders in the long run with the right setup. So, first things first, this character is essentially built around the exact same principles that the Dreamfeather um, Dream Pathfinder Spectral Throw was, which is some chaos, some poison, scaling projectile damage, um, a few curses, a few poison things, damage over time stuff, and that's basically how you scale your damage, because as far as I can tell, there are two current ways to play a Wanda, and that is building an Inquisitor and going full elemental, and that'll be um, whether you're low life, life based, CI. Uh, pretty expensive in the long run to get the right stuff going and won't feel quite as good to play, but will be very strong for DPS and clearing things. Or something on the right hand side of the tree, like a raider, which is what this character is, a pathfinder, an assassin, uh, some shit like that, and going poison with fizz and chaos, which is what I chose to do, uh, because I wanted to explore the single target potential of this sort of build. And the way I've tried to fix single target is by putting your kinetic blast, your AoE clear, on a 4 link while your Barrage, your main single target, on a 5 or 6 link. In this setup, I currently have a 5 link, and it's working out pretty damn well for what it is. I am also running a Vinktars, though. Now, I only got this Vinktars into the setup at around level 80, and before that, I was doing fine without it. And I'll show you a map and how you progress without a Vinktars if you choose to do something like this in just a minute, um, after I show off what's happening in the build and how it's built. Right after this boss kill. Any second now. Here is my little wanding character. It is um, level 86, Raider, not carried by Frostwall. And uh, most of the clips you just saw were from around level 80 to 85, and only recently I've hit about 86 and gotten a bit more life. So the biggest problem with the build is getting life, and in the run, long run I should have about 5,500, which is okay, but considering we don't have Whirling Blades or um, Fortify, it can feel a bit squishy at times. So I'll keep you updated on how that goes in the end game in the next few videos. Um, as I mentioned, the build is built around Kinetic Blast on a 4 link, so you have your Kinetic Blast, your Added Chaos, your GMP, those are basically your three staples, and then Pierce, because... PS still interacts really well on um, pack size and pack clearing with Kinetic Blast. And then you go for a single target in your main setup with the chest. So first and foremost, there's the barrage, and then um, the added chaos. So that's essentially all of our damage. And then I need crit strikes, because I barely have any crit on the tree. Um, slower proj to scale both the fizz and the um, chaos, as well as the poison, and then point blank. So this forces you to be up pretty up close to monsters, because if you're right up next to monsters attacking with your point blank, you are getting 50% more damage. And that is absolutely huge and very essential to getting a lot more single target out of the build uh, for these purposes. Now you don't have to use Barrage, it's just probably the best uh, in this situation. I have tried a lot out with Frenzy too, and that still deals a very substantial amount of damage and can kill bosses very efficiently very quickly. Um, especially with the Raider scaling the way it is, the way I'm trying to make it. I have 8 Frenzies, so when you have 8 Frenzies up, um, the tooltip on this is like almost 100k, and most of the damage is hidden behind uh, Poison. So it's, it does become quite effective. But for the most part I've been using Barrage because it's just a bit smoother um, damage-wise since it's a co consistent stream of damage coming out against the target rather than individual hits. 
and of course Wither Totem scales your chaos and poison damage insanely, so if you can get that down during boss fights then, as always, that will be a benefit. But you can tell, um, if you've seen the Dreamfeather character, this is pretty much the same sort of setup, just crit based and as a wander. Um, I had to buy pretty much new gear all across the board though, or craft some, just for certain purposes, because I do need to fill out uh, 188 int while being this far down on the passive tree. So my amulet, for example, had, has 60, 70 int, something like that, another 46 there. And then I self-crafted a pretty nice steel ring, bought a shield for, well, this one was for sale for one jeweler, would you believe it? Um, same belt, same boots from a previous character, and a cosprey because of the additional um, poison. But this is basically just fixing the problem that I'm not a Pathfinder, because Pathfinder would still be the optimal setup for this character, probably just like Dreamfeather build, um, because of the free poison, the flask scaling, and you get pretty much everything you do out of Raider, except on a Pathfinder, almost the same anyway. Whereas this way, I've chosen to scale Frenzies, so I have 8 Frenzies in the end, I have a lot of movement and attack speed, which is very nice, and the reason I did it, because I wanted to move very fast and attack very fast, and have a change of pace from the Pathfinder. As well as that, we do have permanent phasing, which is pretty decent for defensive purposes, and also gives you more movement speed. Now I, of course, uh, have Assassin's Mark on Blasphemy, but that's not entirely necessary because I am running Herald of Thunder and Herald of Ice with the rest of my 50% mana, and you could attach Curse on Hit to that, but I'd rather the very reliable Blasphemy here. And since we're wearing Cosprey's, um, it's got a second Curse option, and that gives us a Witchfire Brew. So, uh, at this stage, I am running a Vinktars, but you really don't need one until quite late into the game, and even at this stage you don't really need one, it's just going to make life a bit simpler, because before that I was running a Quicksilver, which is still pretty damn good, and you just drop Vile Lightning Traps on top of anything that needs single target, and that still takes care of single target pretty much always. So that's the other thing I really should have stressed, is Vile Lightning Trap is pretty much going to be your go-to for single target damage as well, if you don't have a Vinktars anyway, and that's how I lived life for a very long time. So, with no Vinktars, your single target should still be pretty fucking sexy at this stage, against just a tier 10 map though, and um, the real issue is uh, basically keeping up shock against certain bosses, because you will be able to get a plenty of shock happening, uh, while your flask is up. Oh, well, that's just not fair now, is it? Okay. Uh, not while your flask is up, while your trap is up. Because it's pretty much permanent um, shock while it's down, but it's sometimes hard to get certain bosses to stand in your trap effectively. So that's where um, Vile Lightning Trap sometimes gets you into trouble. I'll just skip ahead real quick when I get to the boss and show you what the boss looks like without um, Vinktars. Okay, so just outside the boss room here, um, got your power charge and frenzies up. Frenzies stay up pretty much all the time, so that's pretty nice. Um, so you drop your Wither Totem, get your Lightning Trap down, and just go ham. Um, Wither Totem's going to die almost instantly, and the benefit of having this set up as your single target as well as... Fucking stop! as well as your um, AoE, so you're not just relying on, let's say, Barrage Volley Fire, is um, Kinetic Blast still is really good in some situations. So in really tight-knit corners, for example, if you can get a boss in something like that, then you will probably still be Kinetic Blasting and doing shitloads of damage. But for the most part, Barrage will take over for your single target when you're up close next to something, drop your Vile Lightning Trap, and with a Totem. Uh, on most bosses, most situations, that is going to absolutely steamroll. There will be some you have to play around a bit, some you have to occasionally frenzy just to keep your buff up, but also Vile Haste, I totally forgot to mention. Um, alternatively, you can grab a uh, point blank keystone and get rid of the link. I haven't yet done that because I do have a separate um, kinetic Blast for your AoE, and sometimes, you know, you're going to be attacking from quite a distance away, and you don't want to reduce your damage there. Uh, as well as that, sometimes you want to be attacking with your Barrage a bit further away. Or if you're going into Frenzy mode, single target, 
then Frenzy really does lend itself to longer range sniping a bit better, and you won't necessarily want point blank. So it's comfortable to be able to take out. But you can by all means get the point blank and live that point blank lifestyle and save yourself a link and grab something else. In any case, this has been the wonder um, so far anyway. It's only been played for 20 hours. So I'm still figuring things out, still trying to perfect the character and hopefully I'll have another video for you uh, in the next couple days doing some harder content and seeing how wonders go there. One thing I did forget to mention is uh, this is the wand, it's just a bit of um, fizz damage. About 170 pdps is what it was before I bought it and crafted attack speed onto it. So if you find the right wands, you can get them rather cheap. It only had about 170 dps. I crafted attack speed, it went up to 190, um, and it cost me 2 chaos. So you can find stuff like this out there pretty easily, wanding especially right now considering how unpopular it is. You just got to be looking out for the right stuff. And this will carry me all the way through, but I'm going to try and craft a better one anyway. So in any case, um, I'm Matthew. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.